MailMint is a very powerful email marketing and automation software for WordPress. In today's tutorial, I want to talk about the two latest updates. If you haven't purchased MailMint, I highly recommend it. The link to that is in the video description below, and I'll be making quite a lot of tutorials showing you how you can get the most benefit out of MailMint. So our first update is an integration with Fluent Forms. So as you know, Fluent Forms is a very powerful form builder. In fact, I think it's the best on the market. Again, I have a link to that in the video description below. So some of you may have bought Fluent Forms on the lifetime deal and you'd really want to use it with all these other products. So this is a great update because once you install Fluent Forms and MailMint, these can now work together. Now let me show you how it works. So I've already gone ahead and installed Fluent Forms. As you can see here, this is the pro version and I have a couple of forms, but these are just your standard forms. Now I haven't created these from scratch. These are the basic ones that come in with a basic install. Now let's head over here to MailMint. So I'm going to click here on MailMint and what we need is the automations. So I'm going to click here on automations and let's create a new automation. So for this one here, we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. However, you can also use these pre-made ones. So let me click here and choose a starting point. So before this update, all we had was MailMint, WordPress, and WooCommerce. But now we have this entry here called Fluent Forms. So if I click on this and click on Form Submitted, and this is going to act as our starting point. Now over here on the right, this is where we get to choose our form. So let's say I want to go with this contact form. I can click on that. And now I can go ahead and start adding all my uh, conditions that come after that. So here I can say maybe assign a tag and then click over here. And if I have some tags set up, I can just choose my tag from here. Pretty cool. So the next update is also really, really amazing because we have now the ability to add conditional logic. Let me show you how it works. So over here, if I click on this plus button, you notice down here we have logical. I can now click on if else. And with that selected now, we have these two choices, yes and no. So if this condition is met, things are going to execute over here. But if this condition is not met, things are going to execute over here on the left. So over here, if I click on if else, this is where you set our criteria. So if I click on this drop down, we can go to email actions. Now at the moment, these are the only two things that we can choose between. But you know what could be really amazing over here on the criteria is to add WooCommerce as well and even LearnDash or all these other integrations. But I guess this is the initial stages of introducing this because as you can see, this is in beta. So I'm really looking forward to more uh, criteria on the if else logic statements. Okay, so anyway, what we have here is email action. So if I click here on email opened. So if I choose that, I can choose a date and say open before a certain date. And the date here is, let's say, the 2nd of May. Then this is where I can start adding all my conditions. So I can say, if someone opened an email before that, click here on this plus button. I'm going to add a tag. And the tag is going to be subscriber or whatever tag it is that you want. And then I can add an email like that. And then over here, if they haven't met this condition here, and by the way, you can add more conditions. If I click here on add new rule and click on this drop down, I can say email clicked. I can choose the date here as I did before. And these are our two conditions working together. But anyway, let's keep things simple. I'm just going to use this one condition. So over here, if they haven't clicked an email uh, before a certain date, I can now send another email that entices them or encourages them to click on that email. And this is where I would add it. So there are more things that we can add here. We can add time delay by just adding it here. And the time delay here could be maybe a few hours, maybe one hour. Click another one. And this time I can say, okay, you know what? I want to remove a tag or I can add to list. So there is quite a few options that I have here. Now, once you've added all your automations, all you have to do is to come over here and just call this uh, Mac automation or whatever it is like that. And then we can now start the workflow. And the cool thing as well is this will also show you some stats by clicking over here. So now this will tell you what is happening. So your trigger here for anyone who's uh, submitted the form, they will be shown over here. 
and they'll also show you the form and also the percentage and so on. So this is very powerful, but if you want to see the reports on a greater detail, you can click here on report and now you can see even way more information regarding whatever it is that is happening on your website. Now, I've just covered these two updates. This tool is way more powerful. In fact, I'm going to do a separate tutorial on how to use MailMint effectively with tools like LearnDash and WooCommerce and building your mailing list and so on. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification because I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.